All right, guys, today we have a really fun Easter and spring dessert idea for you that is so simple, you can do it in just minutes. Um, we've even made it gluten-free, right guys? Yeah. Using snack packs, putting snack packs sold at Walmart. You can buy this giant pack of six here for $2.48 for some super value. You can also buy some smaller packs. I'm gonna let the kids demonstrate how to each make one of these recipes that we have here. Um, you guys can open that up to get started. And why don't we take a zoom in on some of the little ones we've done. Okay, now this particular one is not gluten-free. We use some of these Robin's eggs, but these here from Cadbury, they've got some Robin's eggs that are gluten-free. Okay, and we use gluten-free glutino um, chocolate vanilla cream cookies, AKA the gluten-free Oreo. You can also use some of your Peeps. These are gluten-free. And of course, pudding is gluten-free, super easy. Um, you can add a gummy worm. So what we did was we crushed up. Ken, do you want to show how we did this? So we, we got, crushed up some Oreos, yeah, right? So we took the white stuff off the Oreos. Here, honey, you can it to your sister. Kind of like skinned out the white stuff, and then we put them in bags and we crushed them up. And then once they're this is your enough, dirt, right? So yeah. why don't you scoop it out? Each of you can scoop it up. You each got chocolate. Kyle's got some dark chocolate. Okay. Yeah, and then we can add flowers too. Um, I just bought some some florals. This was two dollars for all these flowers here, um, which was really inexpensive. So you can each decorate with a flower too if you'd like. When you're done, you might just stick yeah. it in the pudding. Scoop this out for your dirt. Oh, that looks great. Yeah, it's however much you'd like. There's no right or wrong when you make something like this. And it's really nice because you can serve it you can get a, a whole tray. You can bring a whole tray of them out ready-made ahead of time in advance. Kyle likes to do the worms. Kenzie likes the eggs. Um, and you can buy assorted colors of peeps. They're really fun for spring. If you're having a party and you want to make a dozen of them to have a whole tray, you can use all different colors of bunnies. How cute is that, Ken? Do you want to even add an extra mm -hmm. egg? Yeah. And a little extra robin's egg here. That looks so cute. And Kyle is going for the worm look, right? The earthworm. Is that cool? What do you want to call this, Kyle? You like and it? The, the peeps look really cute. Do you want to add a flower? Yeah, the peeps look adorable too, which as you can tell. And you can add in a flower. Obviously the flower is not edible. But this is so cute, so easy. Looks really great on a tray if you're serving Easter dinner for a dozen people. Too. Yes, and yeah, so easy to make. And the kids have a great time getting involved doing it. And what's fun is something you can do it a day ahead of time. Pop the puddings in the fridge if you want after you make it. Um, and then you're good to go. Mm -hmm. And you just serve it up. And how's it taste, Kyle? Are you gonna dig in? Ooh, this looks yummy. You like? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> All right, see you later. Thanks, Bye. guys. Bye.